Hi, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about the opportunities and supports people who are deaf or hard of hearing have post high school graduation. This may be a scary topic for most parents and students to think about no matter what. Sending your child off to college is intimidating, knowing that you won't get to see them every day to make sure that they're safe. Having a child with a hearing impairment only heightens this fear. There are many things you and your child can do to prepare for this transition. For your child, have them figure out the interests that they may have. It can be broad, but having an idea is important for them to find a school that will let them focus on those interests. Three of the most accredited colleges for individuals who are deaf or hard of hearing are Gallaudet University, National Technical Institute for the Deaf, NTID, and Southwest Collegiate Institute for the Deaf, SWCID. Gallaudet and NTID offer many programs for undergraduate study for deaf individuals. SWCID is a school in Texas that offers associate's degrees and certification for deaf students who want to prepare to go on to Gallaudet and or NTID. There are many other colleges that have programs for individuals who are deaf, which you are seeing on the screen right now. There are a few places, so whether you are looking to stay closer to home or go further away, hopefully you will see a good option for you. One of the most important skills that is important for your child to have post high school is self-advocacy. When they are away at school, they are allowed to ask for numerous amounts of support in and out of the classroom. However, in college, there is no IEP that the school follows, so your child must be able to self-advocate for themselves and ask for the help that they need. If they are recording the lecture or have a note taker, ensure that they ask for the assistance and clarifications if they need it. If they need a professor to use a microphone, make sure they advocate for themselves to ensure that it is working and things can be heard for the student. When doing research on schools before applying, make sure you see what they have to offer your child for their success in and out of the classroom. The topics and people you should be talking to are the Disability Services Office, ask about residency accommodations, Familiarize yourself with the current high school IEP to know what you need in college. Know your rights and prepare yourself for independent living. Make sure to keep on file the statement of your deafness or hearing loss, a written summary explaining the procedures and evaluation, medical information to explain individual needs, and a statement on the limitations of hearing loss on learning for which academic adjustments are requested. Colleges are then responsible to provide the academic adjustments and services that allow an equally effective opportunity to students. Some adjustments might include priority registration, reduction in course load, course substitution for degree requirements, a note taker, an interpreter, extended time on assignments, on tests, on papers, etc alternate test sites, TTY, or other equipment in the dorm. All of these will vary depending on your child and student that they are. On the screen, you will see an extensive list of services and accommodations you and your child are allowed to ask for in an interview with the school. They are some things that you might just want for yourself. There might be things that you need in and out of the classroom every single day. So make sure that you are finding the stuff that you need and requesting those from each school that you're applying to. If you're applying to NTID, there is a pre-college experience program called Explore Your Future, EYF. This program allows students to come to the college for a week and take a few classes, meet new people, find out how to live in a dorm and with other peers, partake in various activities and experience what it will be like to live on a college campus day to day. The program allows students to meet people who have various hearing impairments like themselves and engage in a fun learning experience. I will embed the link to their online website for the EYF program. Vocational training can also be an option for your child if you or they do not see themselves continuing on in their education. Partaking in vocational training will help students slightly to get a job right out of high school. In addition to holding a paying job while in high school, this will allow them to get knowledge and skills to enter the workforce soon after graduation. The typical jobs held by individuals who are deaf, who do not go on to further their education in college, are blue collar jobs. In a survey of deaf individuals, the five most frequently job 
s reported were a clerk typist, which was about 19%, a kitchen worker, which was about 17%, a packager laborer, which was about 9%, a janitor and cleaner, which was about 8%, and assembler, which was also about 8%. Individuals who are deaf or hard of hearing and have another disability are typically the ones that enter the workforce soon after high school graduation. In the chart on the screen, you can see the percentages of post-secondary education and no post-secondary education with the different ability levels for, of individuals. It really depends on your child's interests and the goals that they want to accomplish. Every child is different and just like their hearing peers, they have the opportunity to go on to post-secondary education or enter the workforce right away. Have your child sit down and decide what they want to do with their future and just work from there.